What's going on guys, PerXP here, bringing you another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare informational video. And today, what we're going to be covering is the March 3rd update for Advanced Warfare. Now, this was one of the biggest uh, updates that they had in a long time. This update covered everything from multiplayer, exo survival, exo zombies, um, in-game updates, map exploits, just a whole lot of stuff that we're gonna go over in this video. Um, so, so I'm gonna be covering the most important stuff and uh, yeah, just the main stuff that you guys want to know. And if you guys want to know the minor stuff and read it for yourself, then I'll link the uh, this article of the patch notes down below. So be sure to check that out if you wanna read it for yourself. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the first part here is for the the uh, in-game updates. So uh, a full royalty character loot set unlocked. So, so now your whole armor guy could be in royalty counters. That's pretty cool. Um, connectivity optimizations. By this, I'm hoping that uh, that connections are better and it's not so much based on skill and anymore. And I think that they have done a pretty good job at over the past few days, so that's improving a little bit. Uh, connection and, and matchmaking improvements when at a party. This I have seen for a while since the game came out. Like some, sometimes, it, if you're in a party, like sometimes the game would bug out and you wouldn't be able to play with your friends. So I'm glad that that is now being implemented to be fixed and be improved upon on. Uh, added 15 Master Prestige ranks and Grand Master Prestige. Now, if you don't know what this is, I, I go in more depth in a video on my channel that I did a few days ago. So if you want to watch that to know what Master Prestige is to it entirely, then I'll have a video about that below, so I'm sure to check that out. But just a brief overview about it, basically, it's 15 procedures, um, 15 more procedures after when you reach 15. And uh, each procedure you, you go up, you earn a new elite weapon, and you earn new uh, icons, which is really cool. So those players who get unlucky with supply drops, but but grind throughout the game, they're going to be happy because they'll be able to get some elite weapons and some really uh, good, some really good elite weapons. Now that you can earn them. But uh, yeah, so so next big one is added 15 more supply drop challenges. So now there's not like 10 or less supply drop challenges. So there's more t to rotate and there's more fresh ones to do so that you could earn supply drops <laughs> by doing the challenges. And for the rest of the in-game updates, there's not really too many more that are important. So like I said again, if you want to read them, there'll be a comment down below if you want to go do so. But yeah, so as the weapon bouncing ones, this is probably the biggest one. So I'm gonna who read all of these and then talk about them. Um, so the first one is heavy, heavy weapons increased player movement by 5%. Corrected scopes on the 84, which I don't know what that means, but you'll have to see, I guess. Um, the MK14 had reduced re recoil, so it wouldn't go up as much when you like try to try to fire a lot. The next is um, ARX. 160 increased mag size so I guess instead of 30 it has maybe like 35 or maybe even 40 I'll, I'll have to check but yeah this update has been around for a few days just letting you guys know but anyway so next one is AMR9 increased damage and then <laughs> decre decreased time between bursts so this update's good so far because there's been a lot of weapon buffs, which is really good. So nothing got nerfed for the most part. Um, so the hopefully the AMR9 is a little bit more computable. 
All right, next thing is um, SM6 with this Rubik's Quill. So that's pretty good because that is my favorite sub machine gun to just like have fun with. All right, KF5 mid damage range increased. So that's pretty good because that gun was good, but it was weak at longer ranges. Atlas 45 mid range damage increased, max range damage increased. Now, I, I don't really use pistols, so this doesn't really affect me. So next is PW increased damage. Again, doesn't affect me because I don't use pistols. Shotguns re reduce spread when, when using gun hull. So that sounds pretty good because it makes shotguns more effective at close range, which is where they should be effective. Um, next is S12, increased fire rate, increased damage. Now this, I don't know because the S12 was already good, but now it's probably going to be 10 times better, but who knows. It, it's just one gun, so it shouldn't be too bad. Next is EMP, EMP3, and that got reduced recoil, and then links reduced recoil, and then finally ASM1 slightly reduced initial fire rate. So hopefully it's a, hopefully the other guns are all or more compatible compatible with the ASM one. And now um all of these um if you wanna read them uh either pause the video or click click the link in the description because they're not really too important. Alright so next challenges updates um Remove the ability to earn more than one non redeemable character gear from the daily supply drop challenges. Players will no longer receive daily supply drop challenges for non redeemable gear that they have already acquired. And then finally, remove the incorrect challenge for the crossbow scope, unlock a 10 kills. And then, store update players who have other profiles on the console will be able to get the DLC for themselves and be able to use the DLC guns and on and so forth and then next up is the emblem update uh fix an issue where the emblem would would not appear correctly and then th th this one right here is also pretty cool the score sheets updates so sentry gun turrets now die in in, in one melee hit so i think before it was like three or four which was crazy but now now it's only one i would have liked it to be two because now now since it's only one, it's gonna be easy for people to take out. But I guess if you have like the the uh, module where you increase the the damage you could take, you could take maybe it'll be like two or three. But again, I'm not sure. All right, next one: decrease the amount of time players have to have to hold X to exit remote turret. That's pretty good because it's pretty long. Um, unmodified missile strike missiles have travel now travel faster when boosting by hitting the fire button when coming down so it's kind of like a hellstorm missile in a way or pred missile really all right so next one and final one for score sheets is vulcan laser cannot fire longer so you don't need the, the um, update anymore which is pretty good and then uh rank play nothing new over here so I'm just going to skip that broadcast if you're interested in that remember uh, click click the link in the down below if you want to go read it and then game mode update um, SMD added UI to show if you're stuck um, defending or attacking when the round starts uh, one, one shot kill confirm score limit increased to 80 in the one shot mosh pit playlist gun game added leaderboards for a gun game i was really hoping that they would add like more guns and like random rotation but this is a good start momentum adjusted spawn location to the drift map all right uplink fix an issue where the satellite drone could get stuck in the cloud in sun all right now map specific specific um if you want to read these just remember uh, click the link or pause the video and then extra survival fix various out of map exploits and then exo zombies there are a few big ones here there's added ability for players to pause the game in single player mode this was a problem for a lot of people because they wanted to you know pause the game to go to the bathroom or whatever 
but like now now they couldn't and the highest round on extra zombies took about two or three days worth of playing time so imagine playing for that long without ha having a bathroom break or whatever so pause button was very much needed and then he, next one fixed an issue where where players were not able to join a match together while in a party again same thing with the connecting to servers so hopefully this does that's better uh, various out of map <laughs> exploits um, removability for host to start a match before players were ready so that's good I guess and then um, there's an achievement fix and then the intro movie is now skippable which is which is better because nobody feels like what watching a three minute cutscene every time so that's good fix the rare crash and extra zombies uh, and then there's a few other ones camo's missing uh, pop and pop up mushroom the messages for play one and play two for the switch game and then finally fix a rare issue where after action report was shown incorrectly map and information after joining a private match but yeah guys so that's it for all the the game updates and patch notes for the March 3rd update for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare if you enjoyed comment down below and say what you like about most from this patch I'd be interested to hear it and yeah guys Thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe to get the, the latest Call of Duty information. And I will be having gameplay up in my channel in about a, a week or two. Because I will be getting a new computer sometime very soon. And thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this tough time on my channel. But yeah guys, so thank y'all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, again, like and subscribe. I want that 600 subscribers, so thank you guys for that. Follow me on Twitter. That will be down below. But yeah, guys, take care. And until next time, peace.